2020 uh, COVID edition. Um, I just wanted to take a quick minute and introduce our, our presenter tonight. Um, his name's Kevin Carroll. I've known Kevin for about a year now um, because he works for a company called REI Blackbook. I've been using REI Blackbook in my business for about a year and a half. Um, I originally was introduced to them through a uh, a guru named Ron Legrand um, when I was um, go, look, going through some of his stuff and kind of learning some of his stuff. And um, they worked with the Black Book guys and they, they called it something different, but it was REI Black Book at the end of the day. And what I um, ended up doing was, I, pre, pre that, I was I tried doing all the podio stuff. I tried doing um, a lot of other uh, other. Zapier integrations and tying 12 different apps together. And then I found these guys. And one of the things I liked about them is they're very focused on investor education. They will, uh, they share a ton of information and other things that other investors in their, in their network do to improve, improve their business and, and do a lot of it automatically. So um, Kevin, I'll, I'll give you a second, go and say anything else and then uh, you may take it away and show these guys some of the stuff you brought for them. Yeah, no, Hey, I appreciate it, Ryan. Um, hello everyone. It's uh, I'm in St. Louis, so I'm, I'm about to say good night. Uh, it's, I guess it's early evening for, for all of you. All right. See uh, Chris Lucero hopping on. That's a familiar name that I know. Um, but no, uh, thank you for the invite here. Uh, as Ryan said, Kevin Carroll, RAI Black Book. Um, I'll give a little bit more details about myself and, and what we're doing here, but pretty excited for the opportunity. Like I said, we've I've uh, been working with Ryan now for uh, at least a year and a half, I'd say, and um, he has always challenged us to the best of our ability. Uh, if, if you don't know Ryan well, he's, he's got that techie brain. We are a software company, uh, specifically in the niche of helping this team. And, and having uh, um, basically somebody like Ryan that can, you know, really knows software in general, knows the real estate investing space. He's always challenging, uh, giving us new ideas to make the platform better. Um, so it's, it's been great. I, I appreciate the opportunity here, Ryan. So I'll go ahead and start sharing my screen. Uh, I've got some training today that I think will uh, probably ring a, ring a bell and make sense to quite a few people on the call today. So, all right. And if you would, let me know if, you can see my screen okay? Yep. All right, perfect. All right, so <clears throat> what I'm gonna talk about today um, is, is basically something that most investors, especially if you're newer all the way up to not quite, uh, you know, seasoned pro, if you will, um, most investors that have been doing this for a long time really understands as far as having a specific process and system in place to help manage your business. And, and frankly, it doesn't even necessarily have to be real estate investing, right? It's, it's any small business um, typically deals with the, the same issues. It's a, you know, generating leads, following up the leads, making offers and closing deals and taking care of <clears throat> and managing that transaction um, throughout the process, right? So whether you're selling widgets, cars, or a real estate investor, um, having a very specific process and system in place is, is typically the, the difference of being very successful versus struggling and in, inconsistency in, in every month. So what I want to focus on tonight is <clears throat> kind of share some stories and, and help basically show how most investors can close an extra two or three deals, sometimes even more than that each month. Um, but more importantly, with less money, less stress, less frustration, and less overwhelm, right? So, all right. <clears throat> Before I uh, get jumping into it too much here, uh, who is REI Black Book? So uh, real quick background, this is important to, to understand who we are. So uh, if you've never heard the name Damon Remy, Damon Remy's our CEO, he's our founder, uh, started the company back in 2009. Uh, he was a Marine back in the day, did technology uh, throughout his tenure in the Marine Corps, got out of there in his young 20s and, and went and basically managed the uh, IT for uh, Pepsi, so the largest Pepsi distributor, bottler uh, in the United States. He was, uh, I think, 21 or 22 and, and was, you know, pretty much systematizing that entire operation for them. Um, over the time, we have uh, basically become the software of choice for educators ac across the country. So uh, we've got about 
40,000 plus members across uh, North America. So that's the US and Canada um, over that time period. And this is really important to me and uh, to, to, to the people who decide to be part of our community. But our, our purpose is to empower small business owners through system software and education, right? So the core of our, our, our company, we are a software company. Our niche is to help real estate investors, but uh, what we do is help educate and teach those systems and processes uh, to go along with the software that, that we've built here. Our core values as a company, number one is people before profits, open, honest communication, dedicated to growth and selfless team players. And, and the reason I talk about this and anybody who's out there who has come from corporate America, we always hear the mission statements. We always hear the core values. Um, you know, typically they don't mean a whole lot. Uh, here at RAI Black Book, we've got a team of about 25 people. Uh, these core values are through and true to everyone that, that's here, our entire community. And we, we go through that, um, you know, and, and hold those dear. So uh, Ryan could attest to that, I'm sure. Crystal, Sarah, I see you're on the call. Uh, same story. All right. So a <clears throat> little bit of background about myself. Uh, Kevin Carroll, again, I'm, I'm the sales director here uh, for RA Black Book. I've only been here for uh, about a year and a half now. Prior to that, I've been working with small business owners since about 2007, 2008. So I... Every, my entire career has been basically marketing and sales systems with small to medium sized business owners. Uh, my last role was in corporate America, very large publicly traded logistics company and, you know, managing sales teams and processes and, and, you know, working with you know, thousands of small businesses across North America uh, to, to help deliver their products here. Again, small businesses, it's all about marketing processing leads, following up, and systematizing that to have consistent results month in and month out. All right, so before we even start going through the training here, I always get the question, well, what exactly is, what type of software, or what type of software? It's a very hard question to ask because we do so much of, of everything. So uh, everything from websites to landing pages and sales funnels, CRM to manage your contacts, so that's your contact management system, email autoresponders, uh, text blast service, phone system, ringless voicemail platform, you know, property finder, bird dog portal, all those things are wrapped into one software. That's what we do. I'll, I'll show you a little bit more about what this goes through, but I'd like to put this out here just to give you an idea of, of what it is we're gonna talk about today. All right, so why is this training different today? Um, what I'm gonna tell you today is not just one little piece of the puzzle. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to have to go out and subscribe to 15 or 20 different things to make all of this work. Um, you know, this is a proven system that will produce predictable results for years to come. So putting the time in upfront to, to really build out your systems and your processes, identify those and put them into action <clears throat> pays off for years and years and years. All right. I want to throw this out there. Uh, what I'm going to share is going to take work. If you're looking for that magic pill, that easy button, that, hey, you know, I just want to have this all done for me. That's not what I'm here to offer. Um, that's not what we're going to talk about today. I'm going to share stories with you of other investors that you can probably relate to uh, who have put in the work, they've had the vision, and now they're reaping the reward. So hopefully this will be a shortcut to, to you know, to reduce that curve and, and help bring that predictable consistency and grow and scale your business using the resources that you have today. Uh, but at the end of it, you have to be willing to market your business in order to make this work. All right, so got that out of the way uh, again. So every small business, whether you're a real estate investor, a uh, car manufacturer, McDonald's, it doesn't matter. You have to have a proven process, right? So Henry Ford is famous because he brought a process and a system to a manufacturing automobiles, right? McDonald's had explosive growth, um, not because their burgers and their fries are fantastic. Uh, you know, I'll leave that alone. Some people may love McDonald's. Uh, there's other options out there I'd go to first, but what people go there over and over and over again is because it's consistent every single time it's quick. And when you go to McDonald's, it doesn't matter what part of the country, for the most part, you're going to have a very similar experience and a very similar product that, that, that you're comfortable with. And that is a proven process that they've allowed themselves to duplicate and be consistent with time in and time out. 
All right. So for real estate investors specifically, which is what we're here to talk about, um, this is typically something along the lines of the process that most investors are going to fall in, right? So uh, what we call the seller acquisition workflow map. <clears throat> and I'll give you a quick overview of it. But as a business owner, again, you've got lead generation. So it doesn't matter what type of marketing, how you're acquiring those leads. Um, you have to have leads coming into the business, right? So Google ads, Facebook ads, direct mail, bandit signs, whatever it is, those leads have to come in. After those leads respond to our marketing, well, every business needs to qualify those leads, right? So as soon as possible, when, when that, that lead enters our funnel, what happens? So collect additional data, you know, analyze deals, present offers, all that good stuff. Sometimes those leads go cold right out of the gate. Well, deal analysis, offers and follow-ups, all the way down to closing and disposition, AKA paychecks on the bottom, right? And then as business owners, as entrepreneurs, we need to be able to track those KPIs, those key performance indicators. So what's our cost per lead? What's our cost per appointment, per contract, per deal, all the way down the line, so that way we can refine, optimize, and, and if we've got different marketing strategies, it's really important to know which one's working and which one's not, so we can put our time and resources and investment into those areas that are gonna bring higher returns, right? So um, sounds easy. I'll, I'll show you how this all kind of ties together here as we go along. All right, so one of the things that I love to point out here is you know, most, most business owners, as they get into this, they think, hey, if I want to close more deals, if I want to increase my revenue, well, I better go out and double my marketing costs and spend a whole lot more time and money um, you know, doing that. And sometimes that is part of the answer. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's not, um, but what most investors can realize is that when they have leads come in, if we can get really, really efficient and, and consistent with the leads that do come in and do better at closing them and managing that relationship start to finish, well, we can get growth without necessarily doing more marketing and spending more money on, on that side of things, right? So growth doesn't always mean more. And one of the stories that I'm gonna talk about today, and uh, Chris and Ryan, I, I know both of you have, have heard about Marcy Martinez, um, but Marcy Martinez, uh, is somewhat famous inside of the REI Black Book world. But what she had done is, uh, and some of you may relate to this, but uh, back in 2016, she signed up for one of those free seminars to learn about real estate, right? So um, got her first property under contract back in Ju uh, July of 16. That deal actually fell through the cracks, did not close. Um, so you ended up closing her first deal in January of 2017 and actually cashed her first paycheck as a real estate investor. Um, you, at that point she was all over the place, didn't have clear focus, didn't have any type of consistency in her business from day to day operationals. She still had a full-time nine to five, um, and was just looking to supplement income. In January of 2019, she really kind of took some time and, and looked at her business and said, Hey, what does my process need to be? I work full-time. Um, how can I really maximize and do more with what I've got today? So she sat down, spent a weekend, literally built out her processes, her systems, got it out of her head, put it on a whiteboard, wrote out what ideally that entire process for her business needs to look like, and got to work. So she had zero follow-up, um, you know, again, sporadic deals, no system, no idea when her next paycheck was going to come. After she sat down and, and got it all out of her head and on paper and built it out, then she started consistently closing two deals a month. Um, was able actually to quit her job and has had a steady flow of new deals since then. And she was pretty happy and content with that, uh, not really looking to do a whole lot after that. But fast forward to today, and she's actually closing four deals a month on average right now. And, and, I, and actually, I put the slide together a few weeks ago looking to build a team. She's actually building a team right now, not just looking. Um, she's hiring and a full-time investor and, and really um, you know, living the vision as to why she got into this real estate game anyway. So I'll focus on this a little bit more and talk more about this. All right. So one of the things that, uh, let me see here, got some background noise. Um, one of the things is, is one of the keys when you talk to Marcy is, is you know, what really changed for you? What, what did you do? And she said, well, I stopped talking to unqualified sellers. People who didn't need to talk to me I got, I don't want to talk to them anymore. So um, 
you know, and no, none of us wants to sit here and hop on the phone and try to talk to people uh, who don't want to talk to us, who aren't qualified. We've got better things to do with our time. Uh, those conversations typically don't result in deals right away. So they're not fun, right? Um, so it's a lot better if we can actually spend our time talking to people who need what we're selling, right? So if I'm needing to buy a car and you're a car salesperson, it's really nice to talk to somebody who's looking to buy a car, right? Not somebody who's just there to drop off for an oil change or something like that, right? So um, you get the point. All right, and then again, what, what most people haven't realized, most, most small business owners haven't realized is it's typically not a traffic problem, right? It's not typically a problem with the number of leads coming into our funnels. It's not a marketing problem per se. It's a, it's what do we do with that traffic once it's in our, in our world, right? So it's not necessarily a traffic problem. It is typically a follow-up problem. And that's what we've seen time and time again. I've actually got some numbers that I'm going to share with everybody here in a minute to really drive home what I'm talking about here. So again, as business owners, we do marketing. Doesn't matter if it's Facebook ads or direct mail, bandit signs, whatever it is that you're good at, those leads are coming into the top of our bucket, right? But if we as business owners don't have consistent processes in place to ensure that that follow-up game is in order, that every lead that comes into, into our, our business is going to receive the same consistent process, follow-up, and, and, and you know have that system in place for each lead, no matter what we have going on in our life, if we're on vacation, if we're at work, kids at home sick, whatever, it doesn't matter, right? We have to have a system to consistently follow up with each one of those leads. Otherwise, those are deals that are just dripping out the bottom of our bucket, right? So we've spent time on marketing, we've spent money on marketing, and we're just letting them get away here because we don't have the system in this place. All right. Let's talk about numbers. I'm a little bit of a, a, a nerd with numbers. You have to be a nerd with numbers if you're in sales and marketing and working with business owners. You have to be able to dive into numbers and, and, and actually give what those tangibles are. So as investors, you have to follow up. So when a lead comes in, when a lead responds to a direct mail piece, when a lead responds to a band and sign, um, any idea of how often that person says yes? I'll answer it for you. 2% of the time, a lead calls in from a direct mail piece, we pick up the phone, we talk long enough and they say, yes, let, let's do this, we've got a deal. Uh, that happens 2% of the time on the first touch. Uh, if you've never had that phone call, uh, stick with it because that is a great day. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it's a really, really good feeling. But 2% of the time, they say yes on the first touch. 3% of leads that come in will say yes on the second touch. 4% say yes on the third touch. 10% will say yes on the fourth touch. What all this means is that 81% of all of our deals are occurring after the fifth touch with that lead. So five different touch points, phone calls, text messages, all those different things over a period of time, 81% of our deals are coming five touches or more down the road. Many times it's several months, five, six, nine months, 12 months down the road that those deals um, are actually getting, getting done. Um, but 81% of, of them, again, after five touches. So as investors, how often are we following up? And this is going to shock you. Um, be honest with yourselves as you look at this, but when a lead comes in, how many times do you really follow up with each and every lead before you give up and try to move on to the next hot lead, the next deal that is ready to go right now. All right, I'm gonna, I've got some answers here for you. So 44% of investors, 44% of us, after one touch point, we give up. We don't call them back anymore. We don't continue to follow up with that lead. So almost half of us, after one touch, are giving up and moving on to the next one. Another 22% give up after the second touch. So almost Again, two thirds of us after two attempts are moving on and trying to find that hot lead. Another 14% after three touches, 12% give up after the fourth touch. So that means 92% of investors are giving up an eventual yes. So I've already told you 81% of all of our deals are five touches or more, but 92% of investors are giving up four touches or less. So you can see the gap there, right? So we put these together 
8% of investors are getting 81% of the business because they follow up. It's not because they have better marketing strategies necessarily. It's not because they're better on the phone. It's not because they make different offers. It's because they follow up. All right. So again, 8% of investors are getting 81% of the business. All right. So I'm not trying to beat you up and make you feel bad about yourself. Just again, um, and, and this is not necessarily, like I said, just for, for real estate investors. If, if, if any of you are, you know, entrepreneurs have other businesses, uh, work a, a nine to five in a different business, you understand, especially if you're in a sales and marketing capacity, it really, really all comes down to the follow-up game. Um, and, and how often are we staying engaged and in contact with these leads once they come in? That's where most deals are happening. All right, so again, follow-up is key. I, I was talking about Marcy Martinez earlier. So again, follow-up is key, back-to-back -back craziness. Workflows working over time, thank you. And you can see ready, 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 and all of these text messages coming in. Uh, Sally Riddle is a longtime time REI Black Book user, but you know, thanks for contacting us. We'll give you a call as soon as possible. There was actually a live call in between there that was missed. Um, her system automatically texts them back, lets them know, I'll call you back ASAP. And, and this lead here says, no rush. I have to say you're the most responsive person I've ever worked with, right? So immediately contacting and staying engaged with these leads is absolutely critical. And I've got some numbers on that uh, here in a moment. And then Ryan here, uh, you may not know this, but I've thrown a little uh, testimonial from you in here too, but shout out, uh, convinced me to focus and implement my short and long-term follow-up flows and link them. So here's what's important. I triggered my long-term flow on my old leads a couple weeks ago and just contracted a sub two deal. Uh, a lot of phone credits, but will be made up for after we close there, right? So um, again, all about follow-up. It's not when a lead, um, it's not when we need a paycheck as investors, it's when our leads are ready to talk to us and ready to engage, right? So that's, that's something that's really important to, to accept and, and understand. So what do I mean by all this, right? So what does the framework need to look like in order to have a consistent follow-up game in place to where, we're, where we can be part of that 8% that are getting 90% 90, 90 of all the deals, right? So let's go back to our process map. All right, so again, the lead gen up top there, I'm not gonna focus on that today. Uh, whatever marketing strategy you're working with, you know, whether again, Facebook ads or direct mail, driving for dollars, whatever it is, um, you know, you generate your leads how you best see fit. But what happens next? So, and I, I throw this in there because everybody always asks, does direct mail work? Does driving for dollars work? Does Facebook ads work? And fill in the blank. Yes, it all works. Uh, there's investors that do all of it. Uh, but what does it work for you is different. How, you know, what are you comfortable with? All those other things here. But the takeaway here is the way that you acquire the leads is just one very small part of a much bigger system. So what happens after those leads are acquired typically will make a much bigger difference than how it is that you actually acquire them. All right. So again, I told you I'm a little bit of a nerd. I've been doing sales and marketing uh, systems for uh, well over a decade at this point. And this should open your eyes. And this is industry agnostic. This is not necessarily real estate specific. This is industry agnostic, but um, it takes almost two full days, 46 hours and 53 minutes on average to pick up the phone and respond to a lead. So for that salesperson to pick up the phone after a lead responds to marketing. So a lead comes in and says, hey, I'm interested in your service. It takes us almost two days on average as society to respond back to that lead. When that sales rep who does call, um, they only try 1.3 call attempts before they give up and move on to the next lead, right? So I, was, I shared this earlier, five touches or more, um, you know, is, is what 80% of all of our deals are coming from. Well, most sales reps are giving up after 1.3. So again, you can see that gap there. And it is getting better, but only slightly um, here. So, and then the other big, really critical part of how we process and how are we consistent when those leads come into our, our businesses is how quickly are we responding to those leads? And, and this is critical and, and we're all consumers on this call. So, you know, so please answer this yourself as well. But if we are on Google and we're looking for uh, air conditioner, 
repair person, right? Just as an easy example here. If we call that person and leave a message, do we just sit there and wait around for two days for them to call us back? No, uh, we're probably, as soon as we leave a message, if we even leave a message, we're gonna go to who's number two on Google or number three on Google and we're gonna keep calling until we get a hold of somebody who can help us solve our problem that we're faced with right now. Um, and, and leads in real estate are no different than this. But what this is saying that every five minutes from the point that a lead contacts us, responds to our marketing, every five minutes it goes by that we don't get back with that lead immediately, uh, exponentially drops off the fact that we'll ever talk to that person. So as you can see, this drops off really quickly within 30 minutes. The chances of us ever talking that lead goes down to nil because they've already moved on and found somebody else to help with their problem. And we're not going to keep following up and calling and, and everything else. So um, you can see there's a big gap there. And how can we get more efficient at one, responding immediately, even if we're busy, even if we're on vacation at work? Um, and then how can we consistently follow up five times or more, five, six months, 12 months down the road consistently throughout that to make sure that our marketing dollars aren't being wasted and that we are giving every lead that comes in uh, an opportunity to turn into a deal, right? All right, so what does your proven system need to look like? So let's go back to our map one more time. So earlier I told you that 2% of those phone calls that we make that first touch point are yeses, right? So uh, I wish we all lived in a perfect world where 2% was 100% of the time, but um, most of the time that lead that we generate up top here through our various marketing, they come down here, did, so when they called us or responded back, did we contact them? Were, did we actually have a conversation? Did, did we speak or uh, make contact with that lead? Yes or no? Well, 2% of the time, it's yes. We move on down and say, okay, let's analyze this deal. Offer, let's make an offer. Hey, they accept that offer right away. We close, we get paid, and now it is time to uh, basically dispose of that property, whether we're wholesaling it, buy and hold, none of that matters, right? But 2% of the time comes in and goes all the way down. And uh, those are good days again. So 98% of the time it's going to work differently than this. And, and I'm sure we can all uh, relate that more times than not, there's going to be follow-ups. It's not going to happen on that first phone call. Right? So uh, this here is just an example. Uh, you know, basically if you're going to do cold calling, right? So again, I was telling you that Marcy got it out of her head and documented the process. So you know, how do you, you know, lead imports in, you know, make a task to make the phone call, you make it, does it answer it? Yes or no. And, and really, you know, document what that process needs to look like based on your lead gen strategy, right? So again, if it was answered, if it was no, what happens next? You just give up and, and not call back or hope that you remember in a day or two. Well, what we are saying is, nope, you should have some sort of a system in place to say, okay, that lead came in, I didn't talk to him right away, even though I tried. Here is my 10 day process that I'm gonna follow every single time when that lead comes in to ensure that I'm not gonna miss out and be nine, you know, I don't wanna be in the 92% of investors that are only getting 19% of those deals, right? I wanna be in the 8% that are getting 91%. So I want to consistently have a 10 day sequence to follow up, right? And this is just one example of what that should look like. So again, 2% uh, of the time, they all close. Well, 98% of the time, we're not going to talk to that lead right away. So a lead comes in, whatever the reason may be, at work, on vacation, kids at the dock, whatever. So if we don't make contact with that lead, we should have a system that we could just press a couple buttons and say, okay, well, here's my 10-day follow-up sequence to stay engaged with this lead, right? So maybe that 10-day that sequence could be text messages, can be ringless voicemail, so that way a, a voice message is delivered to their cell phone, um, might be an email, might be a task for you to pick up the phone and call them again the next day. Whatever that looks like, you need to make sure that you've got a consistent process every single time that's gonna hit them really fast, really hard over those 10 days when they're most likely to engage and most likely to respond after they've come into our, our funnel, right? So, so 10 days, after 10 days, did they respond? Yes or no? And here's what that 10 day sequence could look like again. So again, we tried to call them, 
didn't get a hold of them right away when they first responded to our marketing. So if we have a, a system in place, for example, uh, with our uh, black book, have the system send a text message back to them the next day. If they don't respond to that, it can wait a day and automatically send another text message and a ringless voicemail to them. You know, hey, I'm sorry I missed your call yesterday. Really interested in your property. Uh, I'll give you a call back shortly and try to catch you. Have a ringless voicemail go out. Um, again, if they still don't reply, wait a day, have an email. And this is just an example of what that 10 day sequence can look like. But the takeaway is, do you have processes and system in your business like this in place to ensure that no matter when the lead comes in, no matter what we have going on, that we are gonna do our due diligence to ensure that they're followed up with accordingly, right? All right, so again, after 10 days, if they responded yes, maybe they replied to our text message or to our ringless voicemail or picked up the phone and called back. We made contact, well great. They come down here, move on down to the analyze and make an offer and continue to work that deal. But what happens if they don't respond after 10 days, right? So like I said earlier, it's gonna take more than five touch points. Sometimes it's five, six, you know, nine, even 12 months down the road or even longer sometimes before those leads respond back and say, yes, you know what, I am ready to talk about my property. Um, or, you know, hey, maybe I'm not ready yet, but I'll be ready at this point in time, stay in contact, you know, whatever the case is. But what happens if after 10 days, we still don't get a hold of them? Well, we should have a process for that as well. If those leads were generated and came into our funnels, well, that's because they need help. They, there's, there's something there, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't have responded to our marketing. So again, after 10 days, we don't get a hold of them. Well, we should be able to put them into a 12 week follow up. Um, you know, in this example, it's 12 weeks. But, and, and what that's going to do is going to slow down the frequency, but it's still going to hit them with the text messages and the ringless voicemails and the emails. Um, maybe create a task for us to call them back. And instead of doing it every day or multiple times a day, like we did in the 10 day but maybe we slow this down to once or twice a week or every other week, you know, whatever that frequency is in, in that works best for your business based on your niche that you're going after and your marketing. But the takeaway is you need to have a system in place because a lot of these deals happen way down the road and there's a big piece of pie to eat down there. If we sit at the table and have a process in order to get to the pie, right? So <clears throat> after 12 weeks, did that lead respond at this point? Well, some, hopefully yes, and they come down here, right, and go down and we start working that deal again. But if it's no, well, you can just have it go back and stay in the same 12 weeks and keep repeating until that lead either says, hey, take me off your list, I've already sold the property, or I'm not ready yet, I am ready now, whatever the case is, but they responded back, let the system automate that follow-up process until they're ready to talk to us, until they're ready to engage and have that conversation, right? All right, so again, let's say that uh, eventually they all come down here, we analyze, we make offers. Now what happens, right? <clears throat> Are all of our offers accepted as investors or any business owner, for example, right? I wish, but unfortunately, not all offers are accepted. Actually, most of them are not accepted right out of the gate. So what do we do then? Do we just say, oh, well, we made an offer, we tried, and then move on? Uh, a lot of a lot of us do, yes. Um, but we actually have, uh, there's another user of ours, longtime user named Darren. Uh, what he had done, this was probably two or three years ago, but he built out a did not accept follow-up sequence. So these, he built an automated follow-up process, built out a system that for every lead that he had made an offer to that he was told no, um, he put them into this follow-up campaign that would automatically send them those text messages and emails and stay in contact with them and say, hey, just so you know, I'm still interested in that property. If you'd like to revisit this, if you haven't sold it already, you know, if something's changed on your side, please give me a call back and, and just, you know, those nice little touch-ins automatically and in one deal, or I'm sorry, in one year had like 12 deals um, that originally was told no, then ended up turning into yeses. Um, just by building out that simple automation on, on the follow-up there. So again, did they accept? No, um, you know, yes, and, and just build out that sequence there. So again, having consistent processes early on when they first come into our funnel. If we don't get a hold of them, which isn't uncommon, 
<clears throat> what's our long-term follow-up sequence, right? So when Ryan earlier was talking about linking his short-term and long-term follow-up, this is what we're talking about right here. And then again, accept, yes or no, what happens if they say no, what happens if they say yes, and systematize to bring consistency to our business, right? So we're not asking to spend more money on marketing, we're just trying to follow up with and be as consistent as possible with the leads, that, <clears throat> excuse me, that we already have coming into our business. All right, I call it the automated sales team. And the automated sales team, this is where they focus, right? So 2% of the time, they're again, we run down, we don't need that automated follow-up um, in place, but 98% of the time, those leads are gonna require a little bit extra pers uh, pursuit on our part, extra follow-up, phone calls, text, all those other things here. And if we could press a couple buttons to automate those sequences for us, that way we make sure that no matter what, if somebody's having a bad day, it doesn't matter, the follow-up happens. If we're on the beach, it happens. If we're at work, it happens. No matter what's going on in our lives, this follow-up process always happens each and every time and we're giving ourselves an opportunity to close those deals that we otherwise would not have been able to uh, without having these systems really built out and in place. All right. So um, I like to talk about numbers, right? So, so most people say, ah, you know, what, what's it really matter? What's it really matter? So let, let's talk about how little be small boost in conversions, how that exponentially grows a business. So um, again, I've been a sales and marketing person. Math is not my strong suit, but let's talk through this. So some quick math here. Say you've generated 100 leads right? Through whatever marketing strategy you're doing. So you generate a hundred leads out of those hundred, you talk to 60 of them, which is a pretty decent percentage. Uh, you know, 60% is not bad. Um, one out of six of those actually turns into an appointment. So they've agreed to meet and actually uh, have, have a deeper conversation, right? And out of those six, uh, out of those uh, appointments, you're able to close two deals. So out of a hundred leads, down and we've been able to close two deals, right? So we talked about that 98%. So based on a 2% conversion rate, and I'm just gonna use this as a wholesaling example just for sake of math, but again, 100 leads, 10 appointments, two deals. And here in St. Louis, we get about an $8,000 assignment fee on average. It's probably a little bit higher than that now, but so that's about $16,000 for those two deals based on our 2% conversion rate, right? So again, what if we are more efficient on the leads that we have coming in? So if we can just bump that up to a 4% conversion rate, not a very big uptick. So from 2% to 4% conversion, same 100 leads, it's going to turn into 20 appointments. It's going to turn into four deals. And obviously that goes to 32,000. So we've doubled our income with the same number of leads by just having a system in place to be more <clears throat> uh, you know, focus on the follow-up and consistently touch all of those leads to make sure that we're in the 8% that are getting 81% of the deals and not the 92% that are fighting over 19%, right? So, so again, extra 16 grand there. So um, I'm going to go in and kind of show you what this looks like in real time. Um, but if, if anybody would like a free marketing playbook, we actually have a, a marketing playbook that will show you um, eight or nine different marketing strategies. So if you're gonna run a direct mail campaign, these are the little small steps that you need to do in order to ensure that you have the system built out in place um, to, for, for that campaign. <clears throat> uh, for bandit signs, for you know uh, Facebook ads, all those different things here. So if you want a free download of that, if you just wanna text O-L-Y-R-E-I, O-L-Y-R-E-I to 850-900-DEMO, so again, O-L-Y-R-E-I to 850-900-3366. Um, that will, again, uh, I've got a system and follow-up process already built out. Uh, you'll get some text messages back with links and all that good stuff here. Uh, you'll actually get a couple of text messages back here just to kind of show you what all this uh, means when I'm talking about here. But um, again, O-L-Y-R-E-I to 850-900-DEMO. All right, <clears throat> so I'm gonna hop in and show you what the platform looks like. And uh, can you still see my screen okay here, Ryan? Yes, sir. 
All right, perfect. All right. So um, <clears throat> this is what REI Black Book looks like. So this is what our, our basically our, our main page looks like here. Again, you don't have to have REI Black Book in order to build out these follow up sequences and processes. I'm going to show you how we do it in our system. Um, doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have the same system to do it, but what we're talking about here today, uh, frankly, if you can do it in a different manner, <clears throat> build these things out, it will transform your business. All right. So right here on the, the main page, this will let us know how many new leads have come in to our funnel. Um, how many people have basically filled out a web form, you know, visited a website, went to a landing page, any of that stuff. Uh, task management, properties that we have in our pipeline, and all that good stuff. So this is just a really high level overview as a business owner as to what the health of the, of the business looks like, what the lead flow is looking like, the deals, where we're at with things, et cetera. Okay, so um, those of you who may already have a website out there, right? Maybe you went out and uh, sourced a website through a different provider. So we want to be that all in one platform, right? I showed you the list earlier of, of all the different things that REI Black Book does, but what we're really, really, really good at and what we're known for is all of those systems are built on the same platform and designed uh, to work together and, and built together. So we don't have to plug a, you know, websites and phone systems um, in together, a text platform in together, our property analysis and, and deal analysis tools and try to plug all these things together to get them to work, right? That's going to be costly. It's going to be complicated. Um, it's going to be expensive uh, when something goes wrong and tracking down, you know, what to do with that. Um, but <clears throat> so we want to put it all in one spot, right? So if somebody comes to a website or to one of our landing pages, we need to automatically have that lead get put into our, our CRM, right? That contact needs to be saved. The follow-up process and sequences and what we want to happen next needs to happen consistently all the time. So what we've done is we give you websites, we give you domains. So these domains here, if you already have a domain, you can import it into RAI Black Book, or you can buy a new domain here. You know, Ryan Garrison buys houses, uh, you know, for five cents on the dollar, whatever, dot com. But one of the things that I want to point out here is we do give the SSL certificate, which is typically $80 a year. So, you know, to make sure that your website, your domain is secured when a lead comes to your website, they're not, they're going to be very reluctant to fill out their information and give you their phone number and address and all that other stuff here. If that website's not secured. So we give that to you for free. If you buy it through us or if you transfer the domain in to use on one of our websites, that's included. All right. <clears throat> Most of you, if you're anything like me, are not tech, very tech savvy. So it's crazy. I work for a software company. I am not a tech person, I promise. Uh, Ryan will vouch for that. But so what we do is for people like me who aren't tech savvy, but I need a website, well, I make it really easy. So if I need a website, for example, to help out to acquire my sellers, um, maybe I'm running direct mail campaign and I want to put my, my website address onto my postcard or on my bandit sign, whatever. Well, I can click right here and I'll show you what that looks like, but we've got templates for acquiring sellers. So for lead gen, we have, if you're a buy and hold person, right? And uh, basically rent a, a landlord, we've got a full website here that is nothing but helping you manage your available rentals, um, you know, Basically, you know, uh, I'm sorry, receive applications, what inventory is available, all those different things. Right here, we make it easy. We've got all the contents already preloaded on here. If you're wholesaling and you need to segment and, and systematize your cash buyers to dispose of your properties, we've got a, a template for that. Lease to own, um, normal rentals, uh, authority site, which is like an all-in-one site, right? So no matter what you're looking to do, we've got a template for that. If you have a different business, right? So a lot of real estate investors have plumbing businesses or, you know, whatever it is, we give, we have a generic business site that you can use or a straight blank site that you can go in there and customize and do that all yourself here. So we give you 10 websites included right here in our platform. So, you know, most people, very few of them use all 10, but um, you do get up to 10 of them and, you know, basically whatever niches you're working on, you can have those there. So, 
I'll show you what the websites look like. Um, let me see here. Uh, let's see, which one is this? So this here is an acquire seller site. Yep, all right, so this is pretty much ready to go out of the box. I've added REI home buyers, and I've, I've merged in my information. So when I go to this website, I can look and I fill out, here's my company name, what market I'm working in, my email address and all that. And you'll see save merge field. So you fill this out and we take care of the rest. So now I know that this is a St. Louis house, my company names on here, all my contact info, phone numbers, all that is ready to go um, right here. So all we have to do is add our questions. So again, do you wanna ask name, email, phone number, address? How quickly do you wanna sell? And you can customize all these questions here very, very, very easily. So if I wanted to edit this, for example, and at the risk of getting a little too complicated, but I can click on this and say, here's my questions. Maybe I don't want to ask them how soon they wanna buy, so I'll just delete that. But how quickly do they wanna sell? You know, that's a that's a that's probably a decent question to ask somebody. So I can click on this and again, we're all about automation and all about following up with leads absolutely immediately, correctly, and having a system and process in place like what Marcy did that transformed her life. So what I mean by that is, if we're asking somebody how quickly do they wanna sell, for example, well, we can come over here and say, okay, if one of the options is less than 30 days, we can say, okay, here is the workflow. Here is the process. This is the automated response system that I want to happen. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, this is a system that I want to happen every single time that a lead comes into my funnel. So if somebody says less than 30 days, I'm going to have a much higher sense of urgency and a, a completely different follow-up sequence and process than somebody who says that they want to sell in six months from now, right? So we can sit here and say, okay, if somebody says less than 30 days, this is the exact process that I, I need for my business, right? I needed to send them a text message right away. I need a task created for me or my acquisition person. I want to get a text message to let me know that I've got a 30, you know, an immediate opportunity, whatever. But you can sit here and, you know, basically say, all right, if they answer it this way, this is what I want to happen. If I want, you know, this question, this is what happens. Um, and, and really, um, systematize your business based on exactly what you need to happen and when. So uh, hopefully that makes sense on that, but the websites are, are again, nice and easy. All this content is here. If you want to change anything, you just click on it and you can uh, change the content, change links, add pages, all that stuff. And, and, and we've got uh, help to do that. So again, uh, that are, that is the websites. You get 10, just like on the websites, we also uh, have landing pages. So a landing page is basically like a one page website, right? So if you're running a marketing campaign and want to drive traffic to a landing page, and I'll show you one, for example, um, let's just see what this is. I don't even know what it is to be honest with you, but um, this here is just out of the box. We've got videos that automatically load. So if you know, do you need to sell your home? Here's the question box, you know, right here but we've got different templates just like what we do on the websites so you don't have to be a web design person you know all these different templates with videos we can say okay this one what do you want to name it and then what's the purpose of the landing page so if you're going for um you know tenant binders wholesale buyers uh free and clear sellers absentee owners, whatever. So you pick what your target audience is and that content will automatically get put onto that landing page. So you don't have to go in there and, and be a copywriter and do all those kind of things. But uh, really easy on the landing pages. We give you unlimited landing pages. You can build out as many of those as you want. Same thing with web forms. So web forms are the questions, the, the question boxes. And, and Ryan and I were actually just talking a few minutes ago um, uh, before the call started about you know, web forms and, and all that good stuff. So um, a common question that comes up when we have people who already have websites in existence today is how can I automate the leads to go from my outside website inside of REI Blackbook CRM? 
And one of the ways to do that is the, I'll click on here, let's see. So I'll just pick one here, but you'll see this optional get code. So after you add whatever questions you wanna do, if I want to add an address, for example, you just drag and drop it, make it required. And now it's an address on there. But uh, if you want to put this on an outside website, we give you the code here that you can just copy and paste. And then you can go and paste that onto your existing website uh, for the web form. And then that way, even though that website is not part of RIA Blackbook, anytime a lead fills out their info, it will automatically put that lead inside of our contact system and can trigger the automated follow-ups, text messages, and notify you and you don't have to you know export in a spreadsheet and go back and add later um, makes it really nice and easy to, to do that so um, that's a common question that comes up all the time is can we use a web form on an outside website or landing page yes you can all right so uh, those are the web forms all that good stuff now let's have a little bit of fun right so uh, let's see here we also have a full phone system and those of you who are familiar with call rail uh a lot of this will kind of make sense to you so in addition to the 10 websites that, that we offer with our platform we also give you 10 phone numbers so if you already have 10 phone numbers from at call rail or an outside service you can port those numbers from them into us so you don't have to lose the numbers you don't have to um, you know, redo all your marketing campaigns and all that. Uh, you can keep your numbers and basically transfer them into our Blackboard. We do have call recording. So any inbound and outbound calls can be recorded uh, with a couple pushes of a button right here. Nice and easy. That's good. If you're driving down the road and take a phone call, you don't have to take notes. Uh, if you ever need to go back and maybe you had a conversation with a tenant that uh, you guys are remembering things differently, this is a very nice way to settle those uh, types of conversations, but uh, real easy. You can also, to do a new phone number, you can do a 1-800 information hotline if you're doing like bandit signs on wheels and things like that, or a local business line. So here in St. Louis, we're 636. You can just search what's 636. Uh, if you want one with a vanity number, if you want one with the word buy in it or something, so... Again, this like ends in the word buy right here. Um, so you can sit here and select and use that number. And again, you get 10 of them included. All right, <clears throat> extensions, you can build out, you know, press one for Ryan, press two for Chris, press three for Kevin, four to sell a house, so on. Um, and we also have recordings right here. So again, if you need to make a voicemail recording or, or if you wanna send a ringless voicemail, blast out to your buyers list or as part of an automated follow-up sequence you can just you know name the recording right here call that number press the you know put that id in press pound when you're done and that saves that message so i i can you know hey this is kevin i'm looking uh, i'm still interested in buying the property we talked about a couple months ago if you're still interested in selling please give me a call back at this number and you can save that and blast that thing out to you know 50 people at once if, if you'd so desire, but really easy to uh, make your recordings right here. We also have a full text keyword platform. So uh, some of you, it looks like four of you, texted in earlier. Uh, if you have not texted in or if you just joined the call, you are welcome to see this in action. So if you wanted to text the word demo. Or is Oli REI? Or I'm sorry, you, well you can text either one of them. I've got it all set up, but if you want to text O L Y R E I, O E R E I, to 850-900-3366. Um, and you'll see, and I'll show you what that looks like, but um, we give you unlimited text keywords. So we can name this Ryan, for example, you already saved in there, Ryan. Um, what number, so I give you 10 numbers, what number do I want you to text into? And then, what workflow, right? What automated follow-up systems, what process do you want to happen when that text message occurs, right? So um, really easy, you can build out unlimited text keywords, we don't put a limit on that. All right, and then cutoff time. So again, we can, you can say, all right, I don't want my text messages going out at midnight or anything like that, so you can say out between eight and 9 p.m., whatever. Um, that's when the text will, will basically get to go off. 
um, go out. So we've had six people text in. I'm going to click on this and you can see, you know, all these people have texted in O-L-I, O-L-Y, R-E-I. There you go. Um, so I can go over here to the contacts and this is what's really cool. For those of you who texted in, you should have received an automated text message back. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is me. I won't uh, share anybody's personal information here on so everybody can see it. But um, so I did this earlier today just as an example, but I texted in O-L-Y-R-E-I. It tagged myself. So I know when I go and look in my contact system, I know that this number was part of Olyria, right? And then was a the text delivered. So I can look at this and say, okay, well, I texted in. The system automatically texts back, thanks for texting in. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Learn more here. I can click on this and say, okay, that text was processed. It was sent and it was in fact delivered and here's what time that that had occurred. And I can go up here and say, okay, well that triggered an automated follow-up sequence, right? So what it was is this also sent another text message that says, do you want a free copy of our marketing playbook? get your plays and then I put a link right there that you can click and basically give me your email address so that I can email you our playbook. Nice and easy. Again, so I can click on it. That text was processed, sent and delivered. It, I did fill out the note. So I went to the landing page and I put in my email address and my phone number, all that good stuff. And then I also tagged it. So that way I know that, Hey, this person filled out the request for our marketing playbook. Here is the email that gets sent out. This text sent, uh, also went out, hey, I, and you'll see that it was personalized back. Kevin, I emailed the marketing playbook too, and it merges my email address in. Please let me know if you have any questions. So, you know, all of you who have filled that out should have gotten an email similar to this. And then I can click on this and say, okay, well, did they actually get the email? I can look and say, yes, that email was sent. The email was delivered to their inbox, and this is the exact time that they opened the email. And if I clicked on the link, it would say link click right down here, and I can go through and, and show you all that. So um, kind of kind of cool here. Um, you know, so anyway, just by texting in, it automatically saves. Even, you know, so here's phone numbers. Some of them haven't filled out, so I don't even know your names yet, but I can say, you know what, here's a number. Maybe I want to call that person back or I want to view this lead. Um, you know, I can see that the text message was there. It was sent. It was delivered. All that good stuff. It's right here at my fingertips. I can, you know, send a text message back if I would like to, um, you know, trigger a follow-up campaign, all that good stuff. So maybe I tried to pick up the phone and call this lead back right now and didn't get a hold of them. I can say, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and trigger a workflow. Here's my 10 day follow up and I'm going to trigger that. And then that, that will automatically follow up with that person for the next 10 days. So it's that easy. And that's the kind of automated system that I, that I was talking about earlier as to why we need to have those systems and processes identified up front because um, again, we don't want to lose out on those deals just because that lead, it wasn't convenient to talk right then. Um, they didn't need help right now, but we'll down the road. Um, I always pick on this guy. Um, hopefully nobody knows him, but I love this because I show, I was telling you earlier, it will track like emails opened and clicked and all that good stuff. So this person had done this a while back and you'll see that he, you know, the email was sent, delivered, opened, opened, opened at 445, 530, 605, 630. He came back at 1130 at night. He couldn't sleep very well. So he, hop back up at 4:45 in the morning and 5:20 so you know opening the emails clicking it i mean this you know the next morning so he really really loved this marketing playbook i hope you guys like it as much as Corey did um <laughs> but you'll see here so you can really get some insight and that you know this just shows you every touch point with every contact um is measured if there was a phone call in there i can go back and listen to the phone call if there's voicemails and i actually yeah, here's a voicemail that he had left. I can click on that and listen to it at any time. But this really manages that entire customer relationship management is what CRM stands for. Um, so again, this allows us to truly effectively manage our contacts and ensure that we're following up with them correctly, right? So, all right, 
So that was uh, part of the text system that I was telling you about. Now, what happens when the phone rings, right? So you've got 10 phone numbers. Well, what does that mean? So we call them call flows. So uh, for example, let's say we're running a direct mail campaign, right? <clears throat> we send out 5,000 postcards and we set up a phone number and say, okay, this here is my direct mail number. All right, what do, I, what do I want to happen when somebody calls us back from a direct mail campaign? I can say, okay, well, maybe I wanna smart route that call. And what I mean by that is, is this a first time caller, right? So if this is the first time this person's ever called in, I want the system to automatically send them to voicemail or you know, trigger this follow-up sequence. I don't wanna to talk to first time callers, right? But if it's a repeat caller, I want the system to forward this to my cell phone, right? Or whatever. Um, you don't have to do the smart routing. Uh, maybe if somebody calls in and they're identified as a cash buyer in our system, right? Or under contract, maybe it's a contact that's under contract. Well, we probably wanna take those phone calls because they're gonna be more important than somebody calling us and say, why'd you mail me a piece of letter, or a, a direct mail piece, right? Or something like that. So you can smart route phone calls where the system can intelligently, you know, send some to voicemail, send some to your cell phone, send some to your answering service, whatever. Uh, you can have the system set up as such. Sometimes people just want to say, okay, um, somebody responded from direct mail. I just want to tag them. So I want to identify that lead as a direct mail lead. So direct mail seller lead. Maybe, maybe I want to say, okay, this is from my blue postcard. Maybe I sent out blue postcards and yellow postcards and I want to see which one gets a higher response rate. Well, if I put one phone number on my blue cards and a different phone number on my yellow cards, well, now I'm going to be able to go back and track how many phone calls um, came in by just running a quick uh, a search for who's tagged blue postcard, who's tagged yellow postcard. And then that way I can find out which one's more effective. If I'm running different Facebook ads, right? Um, I can put different numbers on different Facebook leads to tell them to call in or different band signs, whatever the case is, but this allows us as business owners to track our marketing to let us know which ones are working better than others. So that way we can better allocate our money, our time, and ultimately have more qualified leads come into our funnel and limit our time talking to people who don't need to talk to us, right? So again, uh, I go on a tangent there. This stuff really is, can, is really important and can, and can transform a business, but tagging is simply a way to identify. So again, somebody calls in, I know that this is a direct mail seller lead. All right, next I want that to forward to my cell phone, right? I can say, okay, I want that call forwarded to my cell phone. And then I can say, okay, I want the profit dial, that's our phone system, I want the profit dial number to show up on my caller ID. So if I have that number saved as my direct mail number, when my cell phone rings, I know that it's a seller lead coming in for my direct mail. What happens next, right? So did you, and you can get really granular with this. Did you answer the call? Did you not answer the call? So if you answered it, this is what I want to happen. Um, you know, maybe I want to task for myself to analyze the deal. If I didn't answer it, maybe I want it to go to voicemail, right? And you don't have to get that granular. You can say, okay, after 10 seconds, if I don't answer my phone, I want it to go to voicemail. And here's my voicemail recording. And then, you know, did they leave a voicemail? <clears throat> okay. You can say, okay, great. And if they left a voicemail, well, maybe I want the system to wait three minutes, right? Because I showed you that slide earlier, after every five minutes of a lead coming in, if we don't respond right away, the chances of us ever talking to that person again goes down dramatically. So again, they called in and left a voicemail, maybe I've, maybe I've got a nine to five job or I'm, I'm on vacation, whatever. Well, three minutes later after, after they leave me a message, it's gonna automatically, I can say, send them a text message back. And I can't type, sorry I missed your call. I'll call you back ASAP. Thank you. In the meantime, if you have a property to sell, please give me more info. 
you know, whatever. And you can put a link to your landing page. So again, just like if you texted into me earlier, you got a link texted back automatically. Well, you can put a link to your landing page. So while you're at work or on vacation, the system can automatically be following up with this lead and encouraging them to give more info on the property to help qualify that lead better before you even talk to them, right? Um, and then, you know, maybe create a task for yourself to pick up the phone and, and try to call that person back later in the day or check to see if they submitted the property and run comps and so on. So you can sit here and create tasks, um, you know, merge their name and phone number and all that stuff. So that way when you log in, you can say, okay, here's the first name, here's their phone number, uh, you know, here's address, you know, all that stuff. Who do you want to assign to on your team? what type of task, what's the priority, what's the due date. And this will basically keep you in order to make sure things aren't falling through the cracks, notify other people that you're working with, et cetera. Um, you can have ringless voicemails uh, get sent out automatically too. So, you know, again, that person called in, left a message, it texted them back that you're gonna try to give them a call back here ASAP. Well, you can have the system just send them a ringless voicemail seven minutes later Hey, this is Kevin returning your phone call about the property that uh, you may be interested in selling. Uh, I'll shoot you another text message to follow up or call me back at this number. So again, this is just one more way to, as a touch point to that lead. So that way they're not Googling somebody else or trying to call somebody else to help them with their problem. Let the system do that automated follow up, right? And then again, uh, you know, you can do all kinds of things. Maybe you want a, a, a notification being texted or emailed out to you. Um, you can, you know, so on to make sure that, that you're always kept up to date. But this is just one example of how powerful the, the phone system is again. So an inbound call uh, will automatically save the contact record. You can trigger automated follow-ups, tasks for your team, have the system automatically send text messages back and ringless voicemails, all those other things. Basically, it's a, you know, it can forward it to an answering service. <clears throat> Whatever the process is that is ideal for your business, you know, based on what your resources are, are you a full-time investor? Do you still have a nine to five? All those other things. And you can build the system around what you need it to do while also making sure that every lead is followed up with in a very timely manner and, and consistently so that way they're not just falling out of the bucket and calling somebody else to help them. So really powerful stuff. Sorry, I, I go on for that. Um, you know, it's, this is a big differentiator from what a lot of investors aren't doing. So, all right, those were call flows, right? So that's what happens when somebody picks up the phone and calls us. All right. So the other part of what we're really known for as far as what that proven system and process needs to be, are our workflows. So just like call flows, workflows can be triggered if somebody comes to our website, right? Um, you guys texted in that keyword, that triggered a workflow. So uh, for those of you who texted in, you were part of a workflow. It can be somebody going and yeah. uh, running a Facebook ad, right? <clears throat> and they fill out information on that lead ad page inside of Facebook, that can trigger a workflow. Um, you can trigger workflows from inbound calls, or you can manually trigger workflows, and I'll show you what that looks like too. But um, real similar to the call flows is what you can do on the workflows, right? So if somebody goes to my website and, uh, let me see here, got some, keep everybody muted here. Um, so <clears throat> if somebody comes to my website and fills out my page because they have a property to sell, what do I want to happen next, right? So maybe I want to say, okay, this is a website lead, um, whatever. And I can't spell, so bear with me, but um, website lead, seller lead, whatever you want to call it. Um, what, what do you want to happen next? Maybe you want a, you know, wait two minutes and send that text message back. Um, you know, maybe it's a ringless voicemail, maybe it's an email, whatever that follow-up system that you want to happen, you can have that built out into uh, REI Black Book every single time. So earlier I told the story about Marcy Martinez. Uh, Ryan, I know you've heard this one a couple of times. I'm going to tell the story anyway because it is amazing. But <clears throat> so Marcy Martinez, uh, like I said, she started investing in 16, 
was sporadic, completely inconsistent, still had a full-time nine to five, was just really trying to get predictable business. So this here is the workflow that really kind of brought her to our attention um, and, and ultimately ended up changing her life and hundreds of others of, of an, blah, blah, hundreds of other investors' lives as well. And what I mean by that is this is a 52 week, one year follow-up workflow that she had built out that weekend that she spent building out her systems, right? So she knew that she had a bunch of leads that, that she had worked on in the past that she didn't do a good job following up with, right? So these are, there's still deals out there, but she didn't know where to start. And we've got a little video that'll walk you through the entire campaign and all that stuff. But so what she had done was <clears throat> said, okay, I've got all these leads. I'm going to follow up with them because there's probably some deals in there. So what she did was, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a workflow. And what we've done here is create a step-by-step -step instruction of exactly what you need to do screen by screen in order to, to build this out. So she created a workflow and the first step was to tag them. So all the leads that were quote unquote dead in her system, cold leads. So she tagged them cold leads, follow up and hunt lead. And you can name them whatever rings your bells, right? Um, but tags them all and then she waited one minute and the first step was to send a ringless voicemail to every single one of those leads that at one point in time said that they were interested or had a property that they would be willing to get an offer on right so so you can click here this will you can actually listen to the actual ringless voicemail that she had sent out so waited one minute sent that ringless voicemail all right if no action occurs right so that ringless voicemail goes out to all those people if nobody, if that, if those leads don't call back or do anything, the system one day later is automatically going to send this text reply. And here's the exact script of that text. Hey, I, tr Hey there, I tried calling you back yesterday. Are you still interested in selling your house? If so, when is a good time to chat? All right. She delayed. Here's the text message that she sent. All right. The next step was two days later, she created a task. She merged fields in there, so that way when she went to the task, it showed who their, what their name was, what the phone number was, all that good stuff. You know, call back the lead, here's the phone number, assigned it to herself. If nothing happens, now it waited two weeks and then sent a text reply. Again, here's that, and then she put a link to a landing page right there. It's a mobile-friendly link, all that. So you get the point here, but what she had done was basically build out a sequence that was 52 weeks long and consistently filed up every week, every other week with this big list of leads ended up getting, you know, it was well over 10 deals that she got off of this follow-up lead. Um, I'm sorry, this follow-up workflow. So that way every lead that comes into her system that doesn't have like an immediate, Hey, I've made contact with them. I've either got a deal right now, um, and if not, then she puts them into this follow-up sequence. So that way it will automatically follow up with them consistently over the next year. So um, we actually have shared this with hundreds of other investors. We've, you know, um, she, we did a, we actually recently did a workshop kind of walking everybody through all the different workflows that she's has in place to, to automate and manage her business. So, but this is just one more example of how powerful these workflows are to ensure that we're consistently following up with every single lead that comes through here. So hopefully all the workflow stuff made sense here. That's just one example. Again, we've got workflows uh, that people have put together for when an offer, when they're told no on an offer, what happens then? When a deal does get under contract, well, hey, these people need to be notified. This, these actions need to take place and it, it notifies everybody, creates tasks, notifications, all those different things that, hey, deal's under contract you can build that out to do whatever you want with it. So again, uh, that was the workflows, call flows. Um, our contact management system, I showed you that real quickly, but it, you know, again, just from a text message or a phone call or somebody coming through a website or coming through Facebook, all those different things you can sit here and it will automatically save their info. Maybe I want to do a text blast out to everybody, right? So, or maybe I want to trigger a workflow any of that stuff. So I can see here and say, okay, I want to look at anybody who participated in our call tonight. So I can look at this and say, okay, well, here's all the people that did this. I can click here. Maybe I want to select all, maybe do I want to do a text blast? Okay. So I can do a text blast out. 
Um, again, so I can say, all right, merge, first name, you know, Ryan, thanks for your time. You know, here's all right, blackbook.com. Do, 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 do. And I can schedule this to go out at a future date and time if I like, or I can do it right this moment. Here it is. I can preview a contact list. There's eight people here. I can send the text blast. And now that blast has been sent. So um, again, really easy to do that. Just like I was showing you Marcy's workflow, that 52 week follow-up sequence, you can trigger a workflow right here. So I can build one workflow, right? And then I can sit here and trigger that to a hundred people at the same time. That's going to automatically get followed up with for the next year until they either pick up the phone and call me back, go to my landing page, send me my text message back. All those different things will stop the automated follow-up and will trigger another sequence for Marcy to pick up the phone and call, um, you know, and do all that. So, you can really automate that sequence to really bring consistency to your deals, right? Or I'm sorry, to your business and, and get more deals. All right. The other part of that is, especially in Ryan, I'm sure you, uh, you're aware of this, but when you're doing text blasts and things like that, um, it can be, oh, you know what? <laughs> it's not going to go out now because I've got my, uh, in central time, it's 9 p.m., so those of you probably didn't get that text blast because nobody did because I uh, have it set up to go out. I, I've got my cutoff set up for 9 p.m. So uh, I just lied to everybody. You're not going to get that. I will go ahead and uh, cancel that out. Otherwise, you're going to get a text message first thing in the morning, and that's probably not good, um, especially because it'll be 8 o'clock my time. You'll be mad at me. All right. So, um, but you can sit here and get, uh, you know, some, here's eight people. I can look at the details. Oh, uh, maybe I didn't stop it in time. All right. So anyway, uh, seven out of eight were delivered. I didn't stop it in time. Uh, just so you know, the recipients area code. So since uh, most of you are most likely Pacific time, uh, your cutoff will be after, you know, it'd be 9 PM your time, not, 9 p.m. my time based on your area code there. Yeah, so, the guy that didn't get it is the 575, wherever that is. 575, yeah, I don't even know where that's at. But so you can sit here and see seven out of eight were delivered. I can go over here and- That's a New Mexico. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, seven, no, the 575 went. Um, the one that didn't go was mine because oh, okay. I'm here and it's after 9 p.m. So- <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only one. I, I was testing myself. So I'll have a wake up call early in the morning now. <laughs> but, but where I'm going with this, everyone, is that you can get insight and say, okay, well, here on this text blast that I sent out, there were 82. 82 of them were delivered. Um, and you can drill down and, and really find out what's going on, right? So um, here's, you know, I don't even know what these are, but 10 out of 10. I'm trying to find some that had failed. Uh, anyway, you get the point. So you can drill down and, and see which ones weren't delivered, all that good stuff. Um, same thing goes with ringless voicemail blast, email blast, all that. Um, you can make sure that, that, you know, when you do that, you can really drill down and see which ones are bad numbers, which ones may need uh, another step, right? Because they didn't get your text. But um, really easy to do those text blasts and email blast, um, trigger workflows, all that right there from the contact record. Okay. So uh let's see here went over most of that i'm gonna go ahead and uh real quick show you the task management system again this is a way to make sure that things don't fall through the cracks i don't pay attention to this just so you know this isn't uh, what i use for my business so i'm not i don't have stuff backed up from march in real life this is all just for uh demonstration purposes i'm not that bad of a person um but you can see this will create tasks i can go down and filter which ones you know, did I complete? Not very many. Um, which ones are due today? Overdue? All of them. I can click and see what's all tasks. So I can, you know, which ones are assigned to John Doe? Which ones are assigned to me? Uh, so on and, and really go down and, and segment, find out who's not pick, keeping up, who's doing really well, all that. Um, right there from a task management system, I can click on it. Maybe I want it to go away. All right, that one's done. Um, you know, what's this task all about? I can, you know, put my notes in there, add comments, delete the task, whatever. Um, 
but nice little task management system. All right, <clears throat> what happens after we filed up, we've got the deals under contract, they've accepted our offers, and it is the fun part, right? Let's get paid. So what we call the property pipeline. So uh, this is what our property pipeline looks like. And this was uh, pretty much, you can add properties manually here. If somebody goes to a website, to a landing page, um, obviously those properties will automatically get put into the property pipeline. And this is what that will look like. So after I've submitted this property, all right i think i've got everybody muted okay all right so okay so this here is the lead sheet um let's see so you can customize this lead sheet all the way down so just like on the web forms that we looked at earlier if i wanted to you know ask what's your favorite football team for example um, I could sit here and say, okay, uh, let's drag and drop that. What's your favorite football team? And I forgot who Seattle's playing tonight, but um, I would, you know, we, we can, I, I actually won't even go there. Seahawks fans are dedicated. I'm not even going to go there. All right. So, um, but you can customize the lead sheet, go all the way down. Um, you can have a lot of this information on your web form. So websites, landing pages, things that you fill out and you could have that map automatically to your lead sheet here. So you don't have to manually recreate all this, have it nice and handy. This will track what contacts are associated, right? So, uh, this here's the seller, who's the buyer, who's the finance person. You could have all those different roles attached here. So you don't have to try to keep track in your head. We do have uh, some help with repair lists, right? So exterior repairs, interior stuff, doors, windows, plumbing, all that stuff. So we can help you come up with what that ARV is gonna be based on that repair list. Uh, we will give you some guidance on comps. So this will pull public information as far as, you know, what the tax rates are, last sales, last sold date. Um, it's not tied to the MLS or anything like that but it will pull up you know, Zillow estimates and all that. You can pick and choose different comps uh, based on bedrooms and square foot and all those different things here. Um, deal analyzer. So this here is actually pretty cool. So um, especially for those of you who are really unsure about numbers, but this is a nice way to make sure that, that we're looking at our deals from a couple of different viewpoints, right? So what's the acquisition look like? So here's the purchase price and here's the ARV just in this example. What is our exit strategy? What's our, what's our assumptions? Are we gonna fix and flip, rent it, wholesale, whatever? Um, and then, you know, this one here's a rental. So here's our loan amount. How long is the loan? Maybe we're paying a point. All this different stuff, right? What's our expenses look like? So maybe we had $6,500 in repairs. Uh, Uncle Sam doesn't want any money on this, so there's no taxes. Uh, so on and so forth. Let's see, how much income will this generate every month? 3,500 bucks, what's the deposit, all that, how long it's vacant. How long do we wanna hang on to this investment? What's our holding period, closing costs? What's our future sales price at that point? And that will kick out various reports, right? So what's our cash flow gonna look like on this buy and hold over that eight year term? And this will break it down year by year by year. What's our you know, internal rate of return? What's our loan to value ratios? all those things that we need to know as business owners as to how profitable of a deal is this? Is this something that we want to buy and hold? Maybe this is a better wholesale deal, right? If we're not gonna be able to make the margins we need on a monthly basis, well, we need to get rid of this thing. All right, operating expenses, right? So I didn't fill all this out, so that'd make a lot of sense. Um, executive summary, this is a great report. Um, very underutilized, but awesome information, especially if you are trying to go out and get private money or financing. If you can bring a nice professional report like this, and obviously I would recommend that you complete it, not like I did, um, but actually put real numbers in there and this will show you what's that projected cash flow before and after taxes. What's that total acquisition cost after all the repair costs and finance points that we're paying, closing costs. Um, you know, so you can go through and this will paint a very nice high level picture of what the finances look like. So that way, again, if you're getting private money, if, if you're trying to sell this to a cash buyer, 
it'd be really cool if you could share a document like this, right? To show them what is it going to look like if, if somebody else is going to buy it um, for a buy and hold and make repairs and keep that thing as a rental portfolio, you can really give them some ideas as to, is this a good deal? All right. Any task associated with the property? Uploads, right? So again, uh, if you want to use this as a filing cabinet, maybe your agreements, your offers that you've sent, uh, pictures, all those different things, inspection reports, you can attach those files here so you don't have to go and search through a bunch of different emails and everything else. Everything is kept here. Any notes that you want associated with the property, and this is where it gets fun. So now it is time to dispose of it, right? So the things under contract, uh, we're going to wholesale it off, we're going to sell it, whatever the case is, rent it, whatever. So it's time to market the property. So we can press a button here and put this on other REI Black Book members' websites. So if you allow, you can allow other REI Black Book members to have their properties listed on your websites. So if you're a brand new investor, the last thing you want to do is send somebody to your website and look at your inventory and there's nothing there. So this here will allow you to have hundreds of properties um, on your website. And then again, it gives you an opportunity to kind of work on deals and all that other stuff and, and, and JV and do things like that. If you want that property, um, on other people's websites, do you want, uh, the single property website? We give you unlimited single property websites and I'll show you what those look like. Do you want this featured on your main website? And then you can also syndicate this out to third party sites. So it does take a day or two uh, to, to get on those third party sites, but you can press one button and it will make it out to a bunch of third party sites here to help get more eyes on this property at no extra cost. All right, so put your realtor hat on, fill out your basics, your property descriptions, all that good stuff. You know, large mansion with gold floors will make Trump Tower look like public housing. Get ready to make your statement. Um, you know, whatever catchy phrase you wanna put on there, but um, you can add video tours and um, school information, property features, you know, all that different stuff that people want to know about. Add your pictures here. And then after we do that, let's go and say, okay, let's look at the property website. So this thing is published. We give you domains right here for free to use. So, um, you know, if you, and if you have your own domain, you can use that as well. But, you know, for example, hot deal of the week, I can sit here and copy these links. So maybe this, this link here is copied. If I want to go back over here and do a text blast out again to all my uh, to all the people who texted in earlier today, I can do that right here. Apply again, select. I can do a text blast and merge that property in and press continue. And I can basically send a so if this is my buyers list, for example, I can sit here and easily send a link so they can go and visit this website right here and this will track how many people visit and how many people submitted information that they are actually interested in that property so make it really easy to market this to your buyers list um, again we're all about automation automate those processes and systems right so if somebody goes to that site and says they're interested what do you want to happen next so i've got a workflow that's helped me schedule a showing right um, on the website do you want the pictures included do you want a video walkthrough on there? Um, any documents? Do you want the comps to be listed? Um, you know, walk score, you know, if, if somebody buys this house, can they walk to the grocery store or any of that stuff? All that, you can choose to have that on there. Um, analysis. So again, those, those financial reports that I was showing you, if you're gonna wholesale this and you're sending this out to cash buyers, well, you may want to put these uh, analysis on there. You can click on there and say, okay, I want all of these three on there. Maybe I don't want the operating expenses, whatever. QR codes, tracking pixels. We've got you covered on all this stuff, right? So now you've got your website set up. Now we can click view and customize. And uh, let's see here. So this is a Missouri property. I've got uh, mountains in the background. That's probably not right. A hay fields more like it. Um, we've got different templates, so we can say, all right, well, let's go with this template. We'll save and close. And this is what our property looks like. I've got a link to my phone number. Um, here's the main picture. This is my personal house too, by the way. It's not for sale, but this is where I live. Um, $800,000, 8,400 square feet. Here's all the, all the info, all that good stuff. Click to submit your info. You know, what pictures do I want? So I can sit here and 
you know, scroll through my pictures. All of a sudden I'm, I live on the mountains. I've also got a beach view, <laughs> but you get the point here, right? So um, what's funny is I actually have had a couple people submit uh, interest in this property. I've got it listed for 800,000 on here. They obviously didn't go through all the pictures and realize it's different houses and all that stuff. And they were disappointed when they realized they weren't walking into like $2 million of equity. But anyway, um, here's the house, but here's that single property website again. And I can turn that off with a push of a button. And now that website no longer works. So we dispose of it. We don't want people continuing to go there, all that good stuff. You can turn it off. Um, we, obviously, we can turn off the syndication to other properties. We don't want this on other REI Black Book member sites and all that, but you really easy to do that. <clears throat> you can uh, create flyers to print, HTML flyers. You can sit here and do an email blast out right here. So this will create a template. It will merge in their first names before the email goes out. Again, you can add attachments and do all that stuff. You know, send a test email, save as an email template but make it really, really, really easy to market your properties and uh, become very efficient and automate the disposition side of things here. So, all right, uh, I went through this really fast. As you can see, this is a really robust system. Um, and let's see, I think I've covered most of it. The one thing I didn't cover is we also have recently come out with a profit dial mobile app. So basically with this uh, app, it is also included um, in, in the platform so you can access your contacts, you know, inbound, outbound phone calls, text messages back and forth. You can actually add properties right there from the app too. So if you're driving down the road, you can, you know, add a property. You can trigger, maybe uh, you talk to a lead and they're not ready yet, uh, gonna be down the road. You can disposition the call, trigger a, a workflow. So if you talk to somebody, you can press a couple buttons and trigger what that follow-up sequence needs to be here right there from that mobile app. Make it easy as ever to uh, really make sure that you can, in, again, systematize and have those process consistent no matter what is going on here. So uh, that's just one more tool in the belt that uh, you have at your disposal. So, all right, so I have went through uh, quite a bit of things here in a very short amount of time. Um, I'll jump back over to this. And let's see here. So you're probably wondering, where do we go next, right? So again, just to kind of run through what we talked about, the tools that you need are websites, right? So in order to consistently um, show our clear offer with what those benefits are, whether it's a landing page or a website, um, you've got to find, have a way to capture those, that lead information online, uh, you know, drive traffic to it on your direct mail, on bandit signs, you know, have text links out to it, all that good stuff to help make it easy for those leads to do business with us. Um, you know, clear call to action, a simple web form. And then again, those leads should be delivered to your CRM and leads followed up with immediately. So even if it's an outside website, you need to have that connected to a CRM where that data is automatically transferred. It's not just dumped into a spreadsheet and hope that you remember to follow up later. You need to have that process buttoned up in a much more tighter fashion than that, right? So um, ideally, somebody presses submit, it should automatically go to the CRM um, and, and, and followed up with absolutely immediately, whether it's an automated text message, um, you know, you pick up the phone and call them back, whatever that process is, but it needs to be immediate in less than five minutes. All right, call tracking phone numbers, right? So we already went through and talked about why it's important to be able to track our different uh, marketing campaigns, maybe even different color postcards, um, you know, different, if you're running ads, um, doing bandit signs on different uh, neighborhoods or different price point, you know, whatever the case is, this allows you to basically track um, you know, phone calls that are coming from websites, direct mail, bandit signs, you know, billboards, if you do a radio ad, any of that stuff, uh, you can track and identify where those calls are coming from. And then again, that bonus is if you can allow your prospects to text, that will increase conversion rates. So if you're doing direct mail, instead of just saying, call me, if you say you can call me or text offer to this number, some people is going to be much more comfortable texting offer than they are to pick up the phone and actually talk to a human. Um, it's amazing. So many of us do not want to talk to humans anymore, right? We just want to do everything ourselves, go as far down that buying process as possible. 
And then when we absolutely have to talk to a stinking salesperson, uh, that's when we do it. But they, we try not to do that in, you know, instinctively these days. Uh, we, we, you know, we've got internet, we've got everything at our fingertips. Most people are much more comfortable texting. Um, give them the option to do that. Let's communicate with them the way that they want to communicate and that will help our conversion rate. All right. Again, the CRM, um, you know, sticky notes are not enough. Typically spreadsheets are not enough because there is nothing there that is consistent about that process, right? Can you make sure that all thousand people on your spreadsheet list is getting filed up with consistently every single time with this messaging, this, this, and this? Um, you need a CRM to help manage that and keep everything in order. All right. Again, so we've already kind of showed you what that looked like. All right. This is probably one of the most important parts of it is the follow-up campaign. So most people are not ready to sell their house today. It does not matter when I need a paycheck. It doesn't matter when Ryan needs a paycheck. These leads will engage and do business when they're ready, not when we're ready. So that's, that's a huge thing. But as investors and business owners, a lot of times it's easier to go chase them hot leads, those deals that are ready to go right, right now. But there's a ton of deals out there, three, six, nine, 12 months down the road, that if we have a system in place to capture those as well, we can still spend our time with the hot leads today and let the system automatically nurture those other leads until they're ready. And then again, let's, let's focus our time with those hot leads. All right. We already, I just showed you the property marketing disposition, you know, again, create your cash buyer list. Um, I didn't go over this, but renter and tenants, right? So waiting list, if you have 10 rental properties and you build a single property website with pictures and all those info, you can press a button, publish on and off. So if that property's coming up, that tenant's not renewing or you had to evict them, whatever the case is, you can go press that one button and it will now publish that property back onto your websites as available and automate that process. Um, what well, marketing assets, right? So single property websites, the flyers, um, the text blast and email blast and all those different things to, to help dispose and syndicate it to a third party site. So again, make it really easy for that part of it, right? All right, bottom line, there's two pretty much easy, two options that you have. So the old way, and I'm not saying that this is completely ineffective, um, but it's definitely more challenging and typically a little bit pricier. But uh, the old way, go out and get a website from somebody. Go out and get your sales funnel landing pages set up. Wherever, whatever CRM you're using, whatever email auto response system you're using, right? What call tracking system, what phone system do you have in place? What text platform do you want to give people an option to text into you? Do you want to be able to text blast out the ringless voicemails, all those different things that, that us as investors and business owners need. You can go out and source them all together. Um, try to tie them all in together. Uh, again, a lot of times you're going to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars more per month. Plus you've got to develop it, consult it. When something goes wrong, who do you call, right? And trying to track that down. Or you can get a system like REI Blackbook, right? So you can manage your entire business with one tool, one single tool without trying to plug a bunch of different things in, right? So uh, today, so basically what our small business plan is that we talked about today, it's $197 a month. Again, for 197, you get 10 websites, 10 phone numbers, um, unlimited single property websites, the contact management system, the text platform, the ringless voicemails, all that stuff that I showed you um, is included. There's one other thing I did not talk about earlier, and that is uh, our direct integration with Facebook. I kept talking about Facebook ads. We do have a direct integration with Facebook. So if that is part of your marketing strategy, you can tie that to ARIA Blackbook and automate the capture of, of the contact info into the system and trigger that automation as well. But um, so 197 a month uh, for the last 11 years, we've charged $997 license fee one time up front. Um, we are absolutely waiving the 997 license fee now. So instead of paying a thousand bucks to get started and then $197 a month, you can actually get started for just 197 today. We are waiving our 997 license fee. All right. So there's no startup cost. We also do not have monthly contracts. So uh, we're just like Netflix, for example. If two months into this, you don't like it, you can cancel it. We're not asking for any type of commitment. We will earn your business each and every month. Um, and if it's not working out for any reason, you can cancel. Um, even better than that is if you cancel within 30 days, we will give you your 197 bucks back. That's how confident we are. So um, again, $197 to get started today. We give you 30 days 
And if you decide to cancel within that 30 days, we'll even give you your 197 back. So you are out absolutely nothing on this. So again, these are all the things that we replace. Typically websites can be a hundred to 200 hours a month. Your sales pages and landing pages can be a hundred bucks. Your CRM, your auto system, you know, again, your text blasting service, phone systems, 30 to hundred hours a month, depending on what options you have. All these different things sourced individually add up to a much bigger number. They're much more difficult to lump in, um, you know, and, and integrate and tie in together from a tech standpoint. Um, it's nice when something goes wrong to have one person to call for support. Um, all, this, all the tools, all the features are built with the intention of strictly working together here. So, you know, I'm not, my website builder is not intended to go use, to be used with a different CRM and a, a different phone system, all those different things here. Everything was built with the intention of working as one. So it's the same tech stack. They communicate much more seamlessly. All right. So, all right. Again, I told you we're waiving the 997 license fee. You can get started today for only 197 bucks. So if you would like to do that, go to reiblackbook.com forward slash O-L-Y. REI. And those of you who texted in uh, should have gotten a text message back with that. All right. So we're going to even bump it up a little bit more. So I know we're right here after, uh, you know, Thanksgiving has been a really weird year. Uh, it's been a good year for a lot of us. And there's going to be tons of opportunities coming out of the, uh, unfortunately, the, where, you know, a lot of people are struggling. But as investors, that typically will result in a bunch of opportunities. So to kind of help sweeten this up and really drive home the fact that you need those consistent follow-up processes and systems in place is we are also going to give you um, our bonus workshops, which are the workflows and call flows. So our accelerator workshops are two day deep dives. And what I mean by that is we have a full training studio right outside of my office here that we professionally record and we have uh, subject matter experts come in and teach very specific strategies as to how they are operating their businesses. So for example, the workflows and call flows, we had Damon Remy, our CEO and founder actually taught a two day course on what that, what those workflows need to look like. So when somebody comes from a website, what does that workflow need to be? If somebody text in, what's the workflow need to be? What does that 10 day sequence need to look like when a lead does come in and we don't make immediate contact? what's that long-term six month follow-up sequence look like, right? And then same thing on the call flows. When somebody picks up the phone and calls into us, what, how do we set the system up and what's the most effective strategies? What's the best way to accomplish you know, this, 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 and this so it's consistent across the board. So that's normally $1,000 just for that one workshop. Uh, we're throwing that in completely, uh, no additional cost. So still get started for 197, waiving the license fee, we're giving you the workflow and call flow accelerator workshop. And then uh, we also did this one a couple months ago. So uh, it's called Unlock the Full Power of RI Black Book. We have made so many changes to the platform in the last year, like the Facebook integration, call recording, new website templates. Um, I mean, just a ton of enhancements. We've got a full-time dev team here, uh, works nonstop. It's not outsourced. It's, it's RI Black Book employees. They are here in our office. Uh, so we actually did a two day workshop on to how to best utilize, build, and basically become as efficient as possible using our black book. So I just showed you a thousand things that we do um, and we do them really, really well, but four or five of those may be all you need for your business today. Right? So um, instead of trying to teach you a thousand things at once that you only need for four or five of, we have segmented this training down in, into sections, right? So if you're really focused on websites and, and online presence, well, you can, you can focus on that part of it. Or if you're really looking at the phone system, all those different things, but we did a, uh, a full two day shop workshop strictly on unlocking the full power of ARIA black book. So tonight going to this link here, signing up, um, uh, it will send me a notification. I'm going to go through and I will manually add these trainings into your account. Um, and all you gotta do is pay the 197. So one other thing too, uh, again, so Marcy has, uh, this has went out to hundreds of investors, literally hundreds of investors have, have built out her system, but um, the same step-by-step -step workflow that I showed you earlier with the text scripts, the ringless voicemail scripts, all those things that we talked about earlier. Um, anybody who signs up today, I will go ahead and give a free copy 
of Marcy's 52 week follow up system. So again, all the scripts, the videos, the overview of, of, of how she's set it all up. So again, if you get started, it's 197 today, we're waiving the, the 997 license fee, you get the two bonus accelerator workshops and we're also giving you Marcy's script here, reiblackbook.com forward slash O-L-Y-R-E-I. Um, and again, even if you don't like it, cancel within 30 days, we'll give you your 197 back. You can still keep her follow-up uh, sequences here. You can still get the training, the wherewithal to really build out those systems. Because even if you don't use RIA Black Book, even if you don't sign up tonight, I will strongly, strongly, strongly encourage you that somehow you figure out a way to consistently implement that follow-up game. Because we have seen so many really hardworking, great investors miss out on massive opportunities and a ton of deals because they don't have these processes defined. Um, I mean, if, if a follow-up sequence gets you one deal over the next year that you wouldn't have had because, for following up purposes, right? Well, you've just paid for this platform for years just on that one deal. So you've got to think of it this way, really, really dedicate to building out those systems, whether it's with ARIA, BlackBook or not, um, don't be that 81% that is giving up all those deals, right? We want to be in the eight, I'm sorry, don't be in the 92%. We want to be in the 8% of investors that are getting um, uh, 92% of all those deals. So again, ariablackbook.com forward slash O-L-Y-R-E-I. Uh, you can get started for 197. All right. Again, this just shows you all the different things that you're getting here. Um, 3,200 bucks is what that would normally be. Again, it's 197 today. So uh, there's that link, 30-day money-back guarantee. It is on paper, in writing. Again, so online lead capture, I just kind of wanted to go through and, and share uh, some more of these here. But uh, Risha and Drew, long-time RIA Black Book members, but love the flexibility to build any automation they want. The all-in-one platform for marketing, and most importantly, the quality of the people behind the business. There's a reason I shared our core values and, and what's important to us earlier. But uh, the best software platform out there for any small business. Call tracking, I, I shared this with you earlier. Uh, Sally, you know, you're the most responsive person ever. Um, she didn't know that that was an automated response back, but hey, she'll take the credit anyway. Here's our mobile app. So Craig, great guy, he's actually a Air Force pilot, uh, or former Air Force pilot, now he's uh, on the commercial side, but great app, love the ability to do it on my phone without going to the web portal. Game changer, love it so far. Two inbound calls within an hour of uploading and getting started. So easy to add contact, properties, start workflows. It's huge. So, you know, this is just what some of our users are going here. So um, I will continue to go through this for a moment, but I wanted to open it up and see if uh, anybody did have any questions um, before we kind of end tonight. Here's uh, another shout out for Marcy. But, um, Here's a shout out to Marcy. These follow up leads coming in muy caliente. So again, ready. At, at 404, they're texting back ready. 407, just entering in the keyword ready. Call them now. So she's got automatic notifications that when somebody texts in that keyword ready, that she gets notified. So she had three people call back, or I'm sorry, text in ready in a matter of like 17 minutes or 18 minutes. Yeah, 18 minutes here. That's a pretty solid 18 minutes, and she's, she's challenging people. Who's implemented the 52-week follow-up workflow? How's it working for you? So really cool stuff. Um, <laughs> uh, Cami, I don't know if, uh, if Chris and Ryan know Cami here, but this is hilarious. They focus on Airbnb, right? So you're probably thinking, how can they use this? Well, workflows are automatically sent to our guests at each step of their life cycle. So when they book the property, when they check in, they have used our workflow communications to automate the Airbnb side of things. So unless a guest asks something outside of the ordinary, which is rare, our workflows run the daily business of communications with our guests. It was a game changer that gave me my life back. Before these kinds of workflows, I was harnessed to my phone and even stressed out taking a nap. So uh, freedom got my life back. So huge, you know, Hearing stuff like that uh, just kind of justifies what we're doing is the right thing here. So um, I'll open it up. I'm going to, I think I've got most people off of mute unless you've muted yourself. So you should be able to unmute yourself. If you have a question, I'll check the, uh, I'll check the uh, chat box here. See if we have any 
questions. Just tell them, I, uh, I personally paid for some of those things you're giving away, and I was wondering if you'd give me a little bit of a credit back. Uh, unfortunately, Ryan, <laughs> I can't do that, but I would love to buy you an adult beverage the next time I see you, man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so, uh, Ryan, I'm sorry. I actually, like, when I was putting this together, I, I honestly kind of thought about that a little. I was like, Ryan's going to be mad because um, he didn't when he signed up. But, um, but you think high enough to have me on here, so I appreciate it. But All good, man. Um, I think you have some questions in the chat, too. You have some questions in the chat if I scroll up. Um, All right. I can pull that up, though. Questions, address them towards the um, end. It looks upload like old current contacts. Yes, you can. You can upload current contacts as well as uh, properties. CSV file, we've got, uh, you know, step-by-step -step instructions on, on how to do that. Um, oh. Someone was asking about commercial properties, like if you had a commercial website template. Yeah, um, so um, we are actually in the process of working on a multifamily commercial uh, template. Right now, today, we do not, but we, I've got some examples I, I can choose um, that, I, that I'm more than happy to share with you. Um, it's funny that you asked that. We, I actually just had a conference call on Wednesday last week before we had the long weekend, but we have a user that, um, I don't, don't want to give his name out yet, but um, been using our Black Book for a long time, and I think he's got, it's close to $30 million of um, properties just this year of uh, commercial and multifamily properties. And he's actually going to be teaching a two-day accelerator workshop. So again, those two that I'm throwing in there earlier, he's going to be teaching a two-day accelerator workshop specific to how he's using ARIA Black Book for commercial as well as multifamily. So um, that training won't, it's either at the end of January, I think it's at the end of January, frankly, but uh, we don't have a template for it on a website standpoint, um, but we do have people that use it all the time and you can use it as such. So typically the lead gen part of things, right? The, the lead capture and nurturing communication process is going to be the same, whether it's multifamily, commercial or residential, right? That marketing aspects typically the same and how you follow up is the same. Um, on the disposition side of things, uh, it's, it's slightly, slightly different, uh, but you can always swap out pictures change the content and, and customize all that to yourself as well so and then jesse asked how long is the the fee going to be waived um, uh i'll leave this link up for a while um so i can leave ryan i think you i think i've already got you set up on that but i'll leave the fee wave but as far as like the extra bonus trainings and everything else if you wanted the like the extra workshops and the scripts and all that stuff uh that would need to be uh tonight Makes sense. And then uh, how many users does each account get? Oh, good question. All right. So on the small business plan, uh, which is, again, you get 10 websites, 10 phone numbers, uh, you get 10 users. So 10 different people can log in and um, access the account. So for example, team, and I, I just wanted to show you this for here real quick, um, but put that there. Um, so I can look at a team member. So let's see about Jane Doe here. So Jane Doe, I can sit here and go through, and since I'm the account owner, I can say, all right, I do not want her to be able to access my domains. I don't want her to be able to add and change team permission levels. Um, but, you know, I don't want her to be able to delete contacts and edit content. So you can control what they have access to in the system. Perfect. I will, um, one thing I'll add that, you know, you didn't obviously go into, I, I've been able to use it to um, screen uh, tenant applicants um, for like tenant buyers and that kind of thing. So actually I've been able to automate because when I post a property for a rent to own, it's not uncommon for me to get 200 people interested because when people see rent to own, everybody who does like errands or rent a center or anything like that is jumping out of the woodwork saying like, I want to own a house. Right. Yep. And the the time crunch of dealing with all those people is a lot so what we do is we will um we will route them to the landing page now they can either text in text in a keyword for a property or they can call in but they just get a recording and then they're texted again to the landing page and they're also directed to the website so um which just is also the web form and still puts them in the funnel 
ask some questions. How much do they make? How much down payment do they have? What can they afford in rent? There's a bunch of other questions, but those are the only ones I really care about, right? Yep. Yep. And then if they fill those out okay, well, now they're tagged in my system as someone that when they call the phone number, it actually rings to me. Everybody yep. else gets uh, a recording, or if they're just really not qualified, they get a message that says, we're sorry, we do not have a property for you at this time. And, yep. and that's it. And so that's how I get from talking to 200 people on a property to talking to maybe 10 or 20. Yep, right? yep you're absolutely right. So uh, we, we, this here is, uh, you can still see my screen okay here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, so this here is actually, uh, another person who that's all they do is lease options. So we actually have matched all this to their web form. So like their application process is completely built out in this. Um, so, you know, what city and state are you interested in? What's your current rent amount you put down? So all those questions that you were just kind of referring to here, and then they've automated it as well. It sends a notification to the credit people to, to run that. Um, and you know, go all the way down that process. And he, he's got it built out very similar to what you just explained as far as notifying that they don't qualify, but um, you know, contact this person and, and they'll help you do different things to get your credit in order better, you know, blah, 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 blah. But uh, you're absolutely right. I, I didn't go into that level of detail, but yeah, you can automate that. We have people that actually use this for landlording as well. So um, like if there's a maintenance request on a property, for example, instead of, you know, taking all those phone calls, um, you can have them text in, you know, uh, service, for example, to this number, and then it automatically texts them a link back to a landing page that says, what type of problem is it? Is it HVAC? Is it plumbing? Is it safety related? And there's like a list of questions. And then based on how they answer it, well, if it's a, a HVAC and you live in Texas, for example, right? Well, that's, that's an, an emergency. So instead of taking that phone call, it just automatically forwards that to their HVAC person to go out there and manage it um, and so on. So, you know, they manage it to that point. Um, you know, as far as like marketing the properties on the backside, they've got that all set up automated wise. So you can do this for a lot of different things here. I was just kind of showing you the, the real quick high level, how most people use it. But yeah, you can, you can build this stuff out to do all kinds of crazy fun stuff. So it's great for playing pranks on people too, everybody. So um, you can set up some, some <laughs> workflows and, and automation. We, we uh, have some fun here in the office with each other and sometimes we get carried away, but you, you can have a lot of fun uh, with workflows and I'll never miss another anniversary yeah. or a birthday. Um, I get, my wife gets automated text messages on her birthday and anniversaries and I get automatic reminder text, uh, two weeks in advance so I can go shopping. And then I also do one week. <laughs> so, um, there's all kinds of uses of this system. <laughs> Love it. That's awesome, man. Well, I, is there any, any other questions? Does anyone else have any other questions or anything before we wrap it up? Let's see. Just looking. Um, I don't, I don't see anything else in here. If you have anything, maybe unmute yourself and, and, uh, chime, chime in. Um, otherwise we can probably, uh, get it wrapped up for now, but you know, if you guys check out what he's got, um, it does a lot of uh, great stuff. Um, if nothing else, at least get the free training and the free, uh, the free resources he gave you. Yep. Um, let me see. I don't see anything else coming in right now, but, uh, man, Kevin, thank you so much. That was awesome. Oh, hey, my pleasure. Um, so just, you know, that thank you. Good stuff. When, when, hey, what's up? It's good seeing you guys. No. Uh, so the, the uh, phone number that you, that they had texted into and, and all that good stuff, you can text back on that number if you'd like. Um, I do monitor that. The email that uh, for those of you who filled out the form and completed that, um, I also get those emails in my inbox. So you're welcome to email me at any time, text me on that number at any time. Uh, and I'm, we're here to help. We've got full support, all that good stuff. So uh, it's not like we just throw you in there and say good luck. We we help uh, walk you all through that and everything else. And uh, appreciating the opportunity, whether or not uh, you sign up for ARIA Black Book, please take the time to build out these follow-up systems in your business. Again, I don't care if you have our platform or not, it will change your business if you can really, really implement that follow-up game, I promise. So um, if not, let me know and I will send you out money to buy a beer for me lying to you. I, I'm, I'm back. <laughs> so, all right. Thanks again, everybody. Ryan, Chris, it was good seeing you. Um, and again, don't be strangers. Put me to work.
Awesome. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Good night, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.